hello guys welcome back to my channel wisdom and light here and i am back with another astral message it feels so good to be back and to sit and pull with all of you if your sun moon or rising just so happens to be in taurus which by the way happy taurus season happy birthday you know what yeah this message is for you if your big three is in taurus if your venus is in taurus even your mars this is probably going to resonate with you now, heads up, we're reading for a big, big group of Taurus, okay? So not everything I say is going to resonate. This is a general message. In order to get your own personal reading, the link is in the description box down below. I am a little bit sold out. At, not a little bit. I am sold out at the moment. But if you sign up for the newsletter via the website, which is located on the bottom of the screen and when it pops up, then you will probably um, get a newsletter and a notification when I am restocked. And I also make announcements on my social media as well. Please be very mindful of scammers. I will never directly message you for a personal reading or session. I will never leave a comment. I will never um, ask to speak with you on WhatsApp or any other app. You can only contact me in all of the links in the description down below. So now that we've gotten that introductory out of the way, what is happening for Taurus? And I will say out of the whole entire Zodiac, mm -hmm. I always find Taurus to be very quiet. <laughs> Maybe, um, I'm not sure why. And I'm not saying that you guys are quiet, but I always find that Taurus energy is very calm. Very calm. Or at least that's what you guys really set the intention for, for calmness. You guys have been quite quite quiet like just quiet so i want to see what are the messages coming in for taurus sun moon venus and rising the sun is shining for you taurus we have the three of pentacles so how is the rest of april and may going to be looking for taurus sun moon venus and rising what are messages that Taurus needs to hear for their highest good and protection? Make sure that you're taking a deep breath and you're centering yourself. Feel free to pause the video to relax and ground yourself. This message is divinely for you. We also have the Eight of Swords that shows up. We'll move the pendulum up a little bit. The Eight of Swords. Four of Swords, Eight of Swords. Ace of pentacles the tower hmm. and then we have the magician that jumped out you guys saw that just jumped out and back of the deck energy the knight of cups okay so let's see what's going on for taurus what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down in three sections. We're going to talk about overall health. We're going to be speaking about career very briefly, and then we'll touch with love as well. So we're just going to break it in three. That way you kind of get that vibe, okay? So let's start off with overall health. As I said before, I am picking up that Taurus, you have been very calm. You've been very quiet but that doesn't mean that your life is calm and that doesn't mean that life is quiet i actually feel that right now everything is pretty loud and there are people or situations that try to come through to disturb that peace and even now i'm still seeing that i'm feeling that what i'm seeing actually is taurus in a beautiful mystical whimsical little home far away from everything taurus literally built this house for themselves to get away from mess, drama, buffoonery, all of that, right? And I kid you not, the town folk done heard that Taurus is in a mystical little house. So all of them done showed up and now they're banging on your door. They want your attention. <laughs> and right now, Taurus, you're being so protected right now to not participate in whatever that is being thrown at you. So the first message that I'm getting for your overall energy and health, please do not entertain anything that is going to take you away from your zen, that's going to take you away from your peace. Because there is something here that wants to pull you away out of that, Taurus. So just keep that in mind going forward. So if you are a Taurus or you're watching for another Taurus, what have you noticed as of lately where you're doing your best to 
be happy, and then you feel like people are pushing at you or pushing at your buttons or trying to get you to react. If you have been going through that Taurus, you're not alone. I feel collectively Taurus is really being pushed to the edge just a little bit. But again, Taurus, you're being called to not give this energy. You're being called to not give this a lot of your time. As a matter of fact, if it's not conflict, if it's nothing to do with any type of back and forth or anything negative, this is just about you also isolating yourself from just everything and you really want, I feel like a lot of you want to take like a vacation or to step away for your birthday. So if you want to travel on your birthday, this is a great time for you to disconnect and do this. And Taurus, I feel that you need this quiet time because there is a big change that's coming in. There's a huge transformation that's coming in and I don't feel like you guys are ready for it. I feel that you guys are not really the best when it comes to change. I don't feel that you guys are as flexible as other signs. I feel that when things are supposed to be what it is, it should stay that way. But no, it's time for that shift. It's time for that change. Now, remember, guys, you may have a moon sign and water or fire. So you may actually be adaptable to change, but factor in your big three. Someone who has heavy earth placements may not do well to sudden changes. They may actually be very, um, they may actually want to stay home. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind if you're saying, oh, no, 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 I, I don't feel that way. But listen, some of you guys do. And I feel that the change that's coming in for a lot of you, it feels good. But it's so transformative that you can never go back to how things used to be because it can't be that. So for example, you could be becoming a parent very soon. You're about to give birth. You're about to move or in a more sad approach, but it's life. You may have lost someone and now you have to go on without them. You may be closing down your shop because you're getting ready to open up a new location. So it's bittersweet to say goodbye. And I feel that in your birthday, Taurus, it feels like a huge homecoming. It feels like you're coming back to yourself. It feels very happy, but I can't help but see the undertone of it's bittersweet that it has to end. You know what I'm saying? Even if let's say you are carrying a child, because I feel like some of you are pregnant or um, thinking about children, even if you are carrying a child, oh, there's this fear of my life will never be what it once was. I'm now going to be a parent. Or some of you could even be sending your kids off to college. Like there's so many things that's happening in Taurus's life right now where these are positive changes, but I can see how it can be very overwhelming. So Taurus, in the month of, um, for the rest of this month and leading into May, I'm really calling on you guys to just be at peace and to understand that everything is truly happening for a reason and it's for your highest good and protection. You have the sun and the three of pentacles and the four of swords. You're heavily supported and the alignments and the people that you're meeting, collaborations will do very well during this time for you. Starting something new will do very well too. I see a lot of you actually starting a business in the month of May or wanting to get that up and running. But you have the eight of swords where you kind of limit yourself or you tell yourself that you can't do it or you tell yourself that it's not good enough. Taurus tried to shake this off. For a lot of you, you're coming back into a profession that maybe you kind of put to the side. You're coming back to something, Taurus. So this is kind of slipping into finances. I feel that again, this is a great time for you to do this. Now, when we move into finances, again, money is looking very, very good. The three of sun. We have the three of pentacles followed by the four of swords. Spirit is saying, please be mindful of spending. The four of swords is actually asking you to relax and rest a little bit. Start saving your pennies a little bit. The eight of swords is also here overthinking if you're not doing enough, overthinking if what you have is going to sustain you spirit is saying you actually have the tools to get the things that you want to get them started so apply yourself taurus it is time for you to apply for a higher position taurus it is time for you to restart that business or it is time for you to rebrand to elevate yourself that's something that's showing up here because spirit now wants you to take things to the next level and with the magician card that is in the outside is kind of influencing this entire reading to say that you are capable of making this happen, Taurus. I feel that a lot of you have been very sad or in your head or just kind of just being so hard on yourselves. And I just don't want you guys to do that. Take that vacation, take that chance, embrace this change that is actually positive for you. And 
if a change is here where it's negative because some of you have a tower card, a tower moment going on, a breakup, it was sudden, you weren't expecting it, you weren't expecting this ending, see this as a blessing in disguise with the Knight of Cups showing up, something had to fall apart for something to come together. So good things sometimes have to fall apart so better things can come together. That's a, one of my favorite sayings from Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> and I feel like that's a vibe here in your reading as well. So you know what? When you see that tower moment happening, Taurus, I want you to just look at it like it's fireworks happening in the sky. I want you to be excited about that shit. And here's why. Be excited about it because you know what? The worst is finally over and people have a way of setting themselves up. People have a way of hanging themselves when they say or do too much or expose themselves. So you're going to be watching everyone just kind of do stuff because they feel guilty or because they want you to forgive them, whatever the case may be. So it just feels good that now all of these tower moments are happening and it's actually setting you free. It's actually breaking you away from whatever cycle that you were in. You're entering a new phase. You're growing into who you need to become. So you have to release that and let that go. Taurus, you've been holding things in and you are not releasing, you are not purging. It's time for you to do that. Spirit is encouraging you to please um, let this go and let it be. Hmm. I feel really, really good for Taurus, actually. On the flip side, how about these changes that feel so... It feels so different. It's because... You're literally entering a different era, a different phase. But the only person that is holding you back, Taurus, is you. So try your best to not hold yourself back. So I want to look into love really quickly. So let's... What are the messages coming in for love? Some of you guys are becoming parents. And by the way, Taurus, please apply for those opportunities apply for that job apply to sign up for i feel like a lot of you guys are signing up for something what has been striking your interest that you want to sign up for i feel like it's a great idea taurus i feel like you should definitely do it taurus this is technically your reset and i feel that some of you guys are scared of whatever changes that are coming in but i promise you there's a big reward in the end so the first message that we receive for Taurus, love and all that you are praying for will come in very, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay. So that's the first message. Okay, we have the past life relationship. Okay. And the last message we have is the honeymoon. I do feel like some of you guys are traveling. I do feel like some of you guys are breaking away from your everyday and you're traveling to new places. I do feel that for you guys. It's not out of the ordinary that the honeymoon card showed up in your reading. Now, if you are single, right? The breakthrough that I'm seeing could be you're ready to start dating again. So have any of you decided you know what it's time for me to date i've been alone for a very long time and i'm just ready to have a little bit of fun that's the vibe that's here you're heavily supported by this and tourism for some of you it's about time so make sure to do that because you deserve it okay so that's the first message that's showing up for um taurus like okay you've been a nun for far too long you need to get out there you need to shake your <laughs> you need to shake your booty you need to dance you need to have fun You've been a little too serious towards you've been a little bit too locked up cooped up overthinking overwhelmed responsibilities gotta live up a little bit live it up a little bit that goes for all of you whether you're single or not but definitely for my single taurus i feel like a lot of you guys and actually um some of you guys are going to be getting um someone some of you guys are going to be going on dates actually someone's going to ask you to go on a date someone <laughs> some of you are going to um um, Taurus, say yes to this person, please. I mean, obviously, if you have to say no, say no. But for some of you, please say yes. You've been swerving this person. <laughs> Just say yes. I feel that you're going to have fun, okay? Now, if you are in a relationship, okay, 
It's talking about deepening your connection and understanding with your person. There has been miscommunication or just feeling like, are we on the same page? Not having enough time to talk about your feelings or just what's been happening. So Taurus, I'm, I'm encouraging all of you guys to really have open, honest conversations with yourself and your partner to know exactly where you guys are going. Because remind, I'm minding, um, because with this reset, especially with the tower card here, Things can no longer be the same. It cannot be done the way that it was done before. There's a major change here that is not allowing for things to remain the same. So that means I can no longer be in a relationship where I don't know what we are. Are we getting married or not? Is that your intention? What is your plan with me? Because mind you, this is a past life connection for a lot of you. And some of you could be repeating a cycle that you are actually energetically trying to break. But you could be kind of giving this person um, special treatment when they really shouldn't. They should, they should fall into that category of it's either you get it together or we're going to have to cut this off because this is my boundary. So I'm seeing that for some of you. But then on the spectrum of Taurus, you're actually getting ready to meet someone new. You're getting ready to actually deepen your connection with someone. You've been praying to meet a twin flame connection or a soulmate connection. I do feel that that's coming through. Being that it's your birthday season, this is going to be a great time for you to set the intention for that. We also have the honeymoon card. Enjoy the bliss and the holiday together. So again, feel like a lot of you are going to be traveling. Some of you may even be getting proposed to in a foreign country or away from home. I'm seeing that or there's a proposal coming towards you. That's um, something that for a lot of tourists as well. I love this for you guys, especially on your birthday. The last message we have is make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Chris, I feel like you've been through so much. And the fact that there is a major change that's here, even though for some of you it's painful, it's bittersweet, it's all of those things. When I say that eventually you will understand why everything that has been happening was so necessary, it, it was so necessary and I feel that you guys will I feel like a lot of you already understand why this needs to happen and what this means for you so what are the big changes that are coming in for you Taurus or what have what are the changes that's been happening in your life that you know that it will never be the same but I know that it's for my best good okay and I want you guys to trust in the divine, to trust in God. When I say the divine, I mean God. I want you guys to really trust in God that this is going to be really aligning and moving in your favor. You just have to have hope. Happy birthday, Taurus. <laughs> you guys deserve it. Please take this vacation that I'm seeing. I love you guys very much. Thank you guys so much for your patience. You guys are always so good to me. The whole, the rest of the zodiac sign, they ain't. But you guys are always so good to me. Always very patient with me. I love everybody, but you guys are quietly kind of my favorites because when I tell you guys, you guys are just so, so down to earth and so understanding and you guys are always messaging me. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I honestly, truly love all of you and I hope you all have an amazing birthday. And if you are having a rough time, you're having a rough transition into this change that's here because I know a lot of you feel uncomfortable please know that there's a reason for it. God is destroying right now to bring in what's needed. It makes no sense, but it will when the time reveals itself. I gotta go. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Happy birthday.